Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So today I'm going to talk about a free program for all the Windows user, which is lightweighted, doesn't affect your performance, and give you tons of features to increase your productivity. It contains many useful tools for which you have to download multiple application or many kind of browser extension. And this is not a new tool. Of course, this is from a long time in the market now. But yes, many people are still not using it. Probably they don't know that how useful this tool can be for them. So the tool I'm talking about is the ShareX that is used for multiple options. And in order to download it, either you can bring up any of your browser, type ShareX in the browser. And on the very top, you will be getting their website. ShareX, the best free and open source a screenshot tool for the Windows. All right, so either you can download from their official website or you can also download this from the Microsoft store. So click on download and then it will ask you, you want to download the setup file, do you want to go with the portable one, dev bill, or you want to download from the Microsoft store or through the Steam. Okay, so you can go with any of this option. I will go with the setup here and the downloading will be started here. So once it get downloaded, you have to go with the basic installation. I've already downloaded it. I can quickly search here and bring it up. All right, so once it comes up, you will be getting this kind of dashboard here of the ShareX. And as you can see on the left hand side, it gives you many different options. And I will be explaining you many of them so that you can understand that how useful this tool can be for you. So let us start with the capture here. So from the left hand side only, if you hover up or you click on the capture here, it gives you many options to capture the screen. Like you can go with the full screen. Or you can capture any particular window which has been currently open on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. You can also capture the monitor, the region, or region transparent. So these are the advanced options that you will be getting. Even you get the screen recording option, screen recording GIF. So if you want to create any kind of GIF by recording any screen, then you can also do that. Auto capture, show cursor, screenshot, delay. Next, you have the upload option and it says upload file. Upload folder, upload from the clipboard. So if I click on upload file here, and let's say that if I want to upload this image here, so I will select it and click on open. And you will find that the image has been uploaded here. And now if I right click on this image, I can open it as a thumbnail URL, deletion URL in a file, in a folder. I can copy it, I can upload it, I can download it, I can edit the image, beautify the image, into a screen, remove task from the list, delete file locally. I can shorten the URL. I can share the URL. So basically, uh, you can upload any file here and then you can create a link and share it to someone. Let me give an example here. Again, if I right click on this file, so let's say if I want to share it, I will hold up to share URL and it says you want to share the URL via the email, X, Facebook, Reddit, LinkedIn, Delicious, VK, Google Lens or custom URL sharing service. So you can share the URL, you can bring visual search, you can do OCR image, show response, clear task list. So these are the options that you will be getting after uploading any kind of file here. All right, now if I over up to workflow, so it says capture region, capture entire screen, capture active window. Now, one thing I can tell you here, guys, that if I talk about the screenshot, you will be getting almost all the advanced tool over here. So if you have any other requirement while taking the screenshot, then everything can be done using this tool only. But not only this, let's come to the tool option here. And if I click on it, now you get many different options. And the very top, you will find the color picker. Again, this is a very useful feature because many times you need any specific color. So what you need to do, you just need to click on the color picker here. So here either you can pick the color from the screen or you can click on this icon here that says pick color from the screen and I will click on it. Now, let's say if I want this color or probably this one. So I just need to hover up on it and I need to click on it. And the moment I click on it, you can see the color will be captured here. Okay, let's do it again. Again, if I click on this pen icon. And let's say this time if I want to go with this color or this one, I have to simply click on it and you can see both the colors are being captured here and you get all the detailed information about it. 
All right, so many people will understand this that how important or how useful this can be for them. Next, we have the screen color picker, ruler, into screen, image editor. Again, very useful feature. So let's bring it up. Image editor, open image file, load image from the clipboard, load image from the URL or create new image. So if I click on open image file and if I take any image here and click on open, now you can see that I'm getting so much of advanced option here on the top. It says save image, save image as copy image, upload image, select and move a rectangle ellipse. So if I want to draw any shape here so that I can do it, if you want to draw the ellipse here, then you can also do that. All right, so this way you can edit the image. Then you have the free hand where you can draw anything that you want to. So let's say if I want to draw such things in any image, I can do that. In order to reverse the action, again, you have to use the control Z. Free hand arrow. So if you want to draw any kind of arrow, this way you can draw it very easily. Text outline. So if you want to type any text, so you can simply select the area and type your desired text and click on OK. And that name will be generated on the image here. You can even rearrange it wherever you want to. All right, then you have the text background. So if you want to change the text background here, you can do that. A speech balloon, magnify image. So you get many advanced options here where you can edit your image with the text, with the shape or do any other kind of things available in this tool here. All right, so let's come back to the tools again again. And then you also get the image beautifier. So you can also choose any image here. And once you select the image here, now you can choose the gradient background here or you can choose the color or you can remove the background here. You can do it transparent. So let's go with the gradient here. And after that, there are many more things that you can adjust the padding and everything. Then you can either click on save or you can click on the upload here. Once uploaded, now you can close it and the image will be uploaded here. Similarly, again, if I come to the tool section, then you also get the image effect. Image combiner, video converter, another useful feature. So let's say if I click on it, now it will ask you the path. And if you want to convert any kind of image, then you can easily do that using this free tool only. Now I cannot go in the brief explaining each and every feature here. But yes, if you need a detailed video, how these tools work, then you can let me know in the comment section. And so on guys, you will get many other options here, many useful options here, like the video thumbnail, OCR, QR code, Hash checker, directory indexer, clipboard weaver, inspect windows, monitor, test, DNS changer. So very useful feature. And if I click on it, let's see what happened. Network adapter, it will automatically detect it. Or you can choose the other adapter that for which you want to change it. And it says obtain DNS server address automatically. All right. So you can just keep this option selected. And once you click on apply, it will automatically detect the best DNS server address for you so that you can get better connectivity, uh, better downloading and uploading speed along with a better ping. OK, so after the tool here, you get after capture task. And if I click on it, you can beautify the image, add image effect, pin to screen, print image. Again, many useful features. After upload task, you can shorten the URL. You can share the URL, destination, application settings, and if I click on it, you can change the theme here. Right now, it's been selected to not dark. Uh, you can go with any of the other like the Dracula one, whichever you like the most. And again, you can choose the effect, thumbnail, region capture, screen decoder, file naming, watch folder, tools. You can check all these options here. All right, guys. So this is how this can be useful for you. And if you really have work related to the images, uh, related to the uploading of images, taking the screenshot, recording it, color picker or any other related work that I shared in this ShareX tool, then you must go ahead and download and enjoy right now because this is for absolutely free. It's light weighted and even it will not be affecting your performance. That's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information, found this tool useful. Let me know in the comment section that what are your thoughts about this tool and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.